Oh, hello, this is Donald Bailey with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Thanks for tuning in. We have my official pith helmet on, so we're watching a jungle movie. This is Jungle Raiders with Kane Richmond. So here we go with the first few chapters. Thanks again. Does it make any difference what we're looking for, as long as you're paid? None at all, Doctor, except if a man finds gold or jewels, he's got something he can cash in on. This medicine you're looking for is a gamble. Have you ever seen any of the Arzac medicines or witch doctor charms? No one's ever been in or gotten out of their hidden village to tell about it. You know, Dr. Reed could have picked a lot better place to wait for you. What do you mean, Tom? Jake has a shady reputation. So you'd better let me make the arrangements for the supplies and carriers. Well, well, if it ain't my friend Tom Hamill. Welcome. Hello, Jake. This is Dr. Horace Moore, Mr. Rain. Howdy. Glad to know you, Mr. Rain. I've heard quite a lot about you. I hope it was all good. Uh, and just call me Jake. We don't stand much on formality in this country. Uh, I suppose you all want to be outfitted? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. But first I must have a talk with Dr. Reed. Uh, did you say Dr. Reed? Yes. I was to meet him here. He's here, isn't he? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, Dr. Reed did say something about meeting you here. Uh, your name just slipped my memory for a second. Just where is Dr. Reed? Well, uh, he was here. I tried to warn him about trekking off into the interior alone. Speak up. What has happened to him? I, I haven't seen him in three months. Uh, perhaps we'd better have some refreshments while we talk. Uh, uh, Charlie, uh, sit down, gentlemen. Uh, bring a bottle for my friends. Now tell me what happened to my friend. Why... I can't say that anything has happened to Dr. Reed. He started out into the interior alone. And in this country, when a man doesn't come back in three months, well, you assume that he's dead. Dead? Oh, no. He couldn't be. I said you assume that he is. Dr. Moore has information from Dr. Reed about a medicine the Arzacs use. They feel this medicine is of great value to the medical profession. Then Dr. Reed did get into Kidden Village. I doubt it. But if Dr. Moore got information from Dr. Reed about a medicine that the Arzacs use, then he must have gotten in. And what's more important, he got out. Why are you so interested, Jake? Why, uh, it's unbelievable. A lot of men have started out to get into the hidden village. And maybe they did. But none have ever come back to tell about it. Did my friend tell you he had been into the hidden village? That is, uh, before he left you the last time? Why, he hated that he had. Well, but I didn't believe it. Tell me everything he said. Well... <clears throat> Dr. 
Dr. Reed came here about six months ago. He didn't have much money to spend, but I outfitted him as best I could. I even threw in a few things that uh, he didn't pay for. And that, gentlemen, is all I can tell you about Dr. Reed. I think we'd better get started as quickly as possible, Tom. All right, Doctor, but it'll take until tomorrow morning to get things ready. I'll do all I can to help. Uh, by the way, where will you search for him, Doctor? His letters gave me certain information, and I think I can find the general location of the Arzex. Amazing. If you're right, you and your friend will make history. I'll need some men, Jake. I've got two good ones for you, Brent and Craig. I'll even lend you my personal boy, Charlie. I'll get the equipment in order, Doctor. I think I'd better hand the lamp boxes, Tom. Call on me for anything, gentlemen. My entire stock is at your disposal. Get away from there. You want them to get suspicious? What do we do now? Outfit them and get them out of here fast. But suppose they find Shut him. up, Frank. I know what you're going to say. Suppose they find him. Well, they won't. Craig's right. We ought to get away from here. It's too dangerous. I'll do the thinking for this outfit. You do as I say, and you'll be better off. Now, listen, Brent. If they come back in here, you let me know. Come on, Craig. See, I brought you some good food. It's a trick. I'll never tell you. You know, a man can't live forever on just bread and water, Doctor. Look. Nice potato salad. That's a pretty good price to pay just to find out how to get in the Arzak village. You will never find out from me. Tell me, Doc. Did they trust you with any of their treasures? <laughs> Perhaps. But you'll never see them. Well. Mm. Potato salad tastes kind of good, too. My friends will rescue me when they arrive. Your friend? I forgot to tell you. Doc Moore has been here and left. You lie. You better tell me, Doc. How did you get in the safe village? I never will tell you. Jake, come up here. Hurry. Jake, did you hear me? Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> What's up? They found the truck. Here, you can see him through the window here. I'll take care of it. Lock up the trap. Why didn't you tell us Dr. Reed had left his truck here? Well, you didn't ask me. He left it here in my care. Doesn't it seem kind of funny to you for a man to trek off into the interior and leave all his supplies behind him? Why, uh, I told you I tried to talk him out of his crazy notion. We can use this truck, Tom. I'll combine my supplies with Dr. Reed's. I'll be responsible, Mr. Rain. Oh, sure, sure. It's all right with me. Uh, say, I'd like to start getting your stuff together. Here's our list, Jake, and remember, itemize everything. Oh, sure I will. Reed's daughter says she'll arrive in Nagura May the 19th. That's, uh, that's six days ago. That'll give Cora plenty of time to meet her. How does that jive with the boat schedule? Let me see. The 
Gura River lines. Here it is. Arrived at Gura May the 19th. Well, the boat docks the day the daughter said it would. We'll be on our way in a few minutes, Miss Reed. I was very lucky to have met you, Miss Bell. I don't know what I'd have done all by myself in this strange country. Oh, think nothing of it. And call me Cora. How long a ride is it to Jake's trading post? Too long for a young girl alone, and I'm going there myself. Well, I do appreciate it. And my first name's Ann. Okay, Ann. Well, I think we have everything. You are, Jake, but you made a slight mistake of 10 pounds of sugar. Oh, I'm sorry. But believe me, I'll watch for your friend. And I'll keep him here till you get back. Uh, that is, if you're luckier than I think you'll be. Got anything, Tom? Oh, just a minute. I almost forgot something. I always give my customers a present. Uh, Craig, put this box on the truck for the doctor. It's something special. Keep your ears open. They're going after the treasure of rubies, not medicine. You know what to do. All right. Take good care of that box, Doctor. Tastes mighty good after you've been out for a while. You didn't have to do that, Jake. Oh, I think nothing of it. Just don't give Tom here more than a fair share. <laughs> when my son gets here, give him that letter and tell him I'll contact him on the radio I left in your storeroom. I'll be glad to do it. Is the boy coming overland, too? Yes, he's just been mustered out of the Army. Oh, fine. Well, good luck and a pleasant trip. Thanks, Jake. If I see any treasure, I'll bring you back a souvenir. Good. Goodbye. A lot of luck. <laughs> oh, boy, what a mechanic. Is that why they made you ex-Sergeant Riley of the Tank Corps? This isn't a tank. It only runs like one. We should have paid $25 more back there and got a good car. Yeah. You know, we can't be far from that trading post called Jake's. Any place is far when the wheels stop going around. I hope that Jake has good beds and plenty of food. I'm so hungry I could eat a can of beans. And I hate beans. <laughs> Try it. Back to work, boy. Try it now. Hey, quick! Let's go before it quits again. If you want to keep on in that direction, better use our legs from here on. That's our course, Doctor. You expect to find what you're after. Well, we'll go on. Fix up some packs for the men, Brent. Don't overload them. Oh, I wouldn't be so particular about overloading ourselves, Doctor. There's a lot of country on the other side of that rock mountain. <laughs> your fear. Strangers, draw near to our city. How far are strangers from us? Just beyond our mountains. Sent warriors to kill them. 
strangers should be sacrificed to our god, Durana. It will make our chief well again. You, my son, will capture strangers. Bring them here. Come. So, Doctor, as soon as I can throw off the effects of that drug we inhaled in those bags. Well, it's a cinch we're not New York or Paris. I've never seen this place before. I'm not exactly favorite guest either. Tom, do you suppose this could be the hidden village of the lost Arzacs? Well, we'll soon find out. Here comes the official welcoming committee now. Untie him. Craig, did you get a load of that stuff that native is wearing? Yeah, and the sparklers the old chief and the rest of them were decked out with. Yeah. are to be sacrificed to our great god, Rana. Rana. Their god, Rana. Tom, we found it. These are the people of the lost tribe, the Arzaks. Yeah, but what good's that gonna do us now? Why are we prisoners? You have tried to find the secret of the lost tribe. Our god is angry. Our chief is near to death. Our medicines will not save him. Therefore, we give your two lives to Rana to save the life of one. How did the Mighty One receive these injuries? My father was hunting wild beasts. Medicine men have always used their great powder to heal before. This time they failed. I am a doctor. Let me see the chief's wounds. No, 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 no. If him touch your father, my medicine will not work. Rana angry! Him great medicine doctor. Him medicine cured many, many warriors. seems to have healed and sealed these wounds. Some poison has remained under the skin. Have you any idea what it is, Doctor? No, I'd have to analyze it to find out. He's in great pain, but he won't show it. Then what do we do? Ease his pain. We still have our pocket first aid kits. Great medicine man will help your father. Yeah, sure enough. No, 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 no. Um, 
I'd like to make some experiments. Seems that this powder works very well externally. And it might be that it worked even better internally. But we haven't anything to work with, Doctor. Have them send some men back to our cars for my trunk. Tell them I might be able to save the Chief's life. Yeah, in exchange for ours? Naturally. Well, here goes. Send men back to cars. Get box. Medicine man will help your father. No, 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 no. no, no. Well, killing us won't save your Chief. Try this man's medicine. Go! If I'm not mistaken, this powder is the same as the tiny sample Dr. Reed sent me. It comes from some sort of fungus growth. You see, it's dissolved in this liquid solution. There. Now I'm going to give him an injection. Give me any idea what'll happen. Tom, this may prove to be a greater find than penicillin. If it is, we've made a great discovery. And if it isn't? Well, we'll be joining Dr. Reed among the missing. Mr. Jake! Mr. Jake! Which doctor is French captured? All others killed! Who got them? Bad, fierce men! Oh. Well, then maybe Craig and Brent will get back. If they do, then they'll know the secret of how to get in the village and how to get out again. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself, ladies. Jake Rain, your host. That is, in case you intend to stop here. I've stopped here before, Mr. Rain. I've already told Miss Reed that the rooms are terrible and the food worse. Oh. Well, I only intend to be here long enough to meet my father, Dr. Reed, and get him well enough to go home. Dr. Reed? Uh, yes, the last letter Miss Reed had from her father said he was very ill. Oh, yeah, uh, well, to tell you the truth, the last time I saw him, he looked kind of sick. I wonder if you'd take me to his room, please. Why, he isn't there now. Uh, you see, your father is just like all other doctors. As sick as he was, he would go out in search of some root or herb or something. Well, he I wouldn't mean, listen to me. I gathered from his letter he was confined to his room. Oh, keeping him locked in his room wouldn't do no good. Not your father. He has a stubborn nature, yes, sir. Uh, well, let's get you settled, and then we'll see what we can do about Dr. Reed. Uh, uh, Charlie, bring in the luggage. Follow me, ladies. Well, ladies, this is where we eat. And if you care for it, drink. The rooms are right through here. Our system here is keep your windows shut tight. And it keeps out the heat and the bugs. Thank you, I'll remember that. I, uh... Hope you two young ladies don't mind rooming together. Well, no, I don't mind if Miss Bell doesn't. Oh, I don't mind in the least. Well, I'll get that Charlie to have him bring your bags right in. I'll go with you. Be right back. What are you waiting for? Get busy, Mr. Rain, and get this over with. Not so fast, Cora. I'll handle my show my own way. You did a nice job getting her here. But I'll handle her from now on. He's better. Tom, we've discovered something. You, great medicine man. Good. I want to make an examination and give him another injection. A medicine man look at your father again. Fix him. Zara, keeper of great god Rana, is ready for sacrifice. 
prematurely. They're not going to sacrifice us now. If you kill Medicine Man, your father will die. Our Medicine Man has failed. He must be sacrificed to Rana. You can't kill a doctor. I need his powder to cure the chief. He must not be sacrificed. Medicine Man needs him to help finish curing your father. Order knocking. Chief says we let which doctor live. Rana angry. Sacrifice has been promised. Sacrifice must be made. So that's Sara, the keeper of their god. Evidently, all offerings must be made through her. Anyway, the witch doctor's safe for a while. Keep your eyes open, Tom. We must talk to him. Amazing. Amazing. The most amazing part of it is that we're still alive. It's wonderful. Wonderful. I must find the secret to the healing powers of that powder. The secret of how to get in and how to get out of the Arzak village is going to be a cinch now. When old Doc Reed finds out we've got his daughter, everything is going to be Jake. <laughs> Jake, that's a pretty good joke, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't catch the chickens before they hatch, Jake. Fix the tray with some food. I'll take it to the girl myself. On the level, Doc, is that powder so important it's worth risking our necks to get it? Tom, if we can get at the source of that fungus that produces that powder, we'll have the greatest discovery in medical history. Find the girl, bring her back here. Don't harm her and you'll get extra pay. Boys get extra food and drink, too. Uh-huh. Well, it's your turn this time. Oh, oh, no, you're the mechanic. I don't know a thing about motors. If this thing had a motor in it, I'd give you an argument. Well... Oh, I'm glad no one's expecting us for dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who says nobody's expecting us for dinner? Look! Well, Bob, do something! Shoot! said they ought to keep wild animals in cages in the Bronx Zoo. Hey, did you hear that? Sounded like a girl. Oh, don't be silly. I could never have that kind of luck. Why, there, there isn't a girl within 90 miles of here. Yeah? Well, let's investigate anyway. Looks like she just fainted. Let's get her back to the car. Here. I don't need any help. I don't. Well, maybe I do. Okay, hero. You want me to take her? No, I'm all right. Get the crate started. You mean you want me to let go of her? Sure, I'll take care of her. Oh. I think she'll run now. Let's get out of here.
through this crash, with Korra's warriors still on their trail, with the ever-present menace of the wild beasts of the jungle, don't miss Primitive Sacrifice, the second thrilling chapter of Jungle Raiders at this theater next week. Joe Riley, war veterans, are on bother. In the jungle, they find an unconscious girl, Anne Reed. shape and the car is at that. Looks like we'll have to walk from here in. If you were a good mechanic, you could fix it. Oh, those guys are sure persistent. Let's get behind those rocks. I guess we scared him away. Oh, uh, I think we'd better get acquainted. I'm Bob Moore. I'm Ann. Just Ann. Well, uh, Just Ann, uh, for what big reason are you wandering around in these wilds alone and being shot at by some native gangsters? It's nothing you'd call a big reason. I'd rather just an impulse to get away from where I was. Well, far be it for me to pry into private affairs. The big question is, uh, where do we go from here? Well, can't I just hitchhike along with you till we get someplace where there are people? Oh, sure, as far as we go. Well, how far is that? Uh, we're looking for a place called Jake's Trading Post. But that's just where I came from. I'm not going to go back there. Mm. You sure your friend doesn't need some help? <laughs> oh, not him. Anyway, if he needs any help, he'll yell for it. Hey, Goldbrick! Do I have to handle this detail all by myself? Haven't you got that car fixed yet? Haven't I got it fixed? Why, I... <laughs> I was only kidding, Joe. Well, we're walking, and I'm not kidding. Oh, oh, Ann, uh, this is Joe Riley. Joe Riley, this is Ann. Just Ann? Yeah, just Ann. There's something or somebody at Jake's trading post she doesn't like. I promise her protection if she'd go there with us. Okay, if you say so. Come on, pay more attention to your work. Let's go. And darling, oh, I've been frantic. You must never go out alone again, even if I do lose my temper. I thought you didn't like women. Uh, well, pardon me. Which one of you is Bob Moore? I am. Uh, here's a letter your father left for you. What have you been doing, playing post office with it? Where is Dad? Uh, he's out on a little trip now, but he left some stuff in my storeroom for you to check over. Uh, go right in and make yourself at home. Thanks.
What do you say? Not much. Except that this man Jake is a thorough scoundrel and can't be trusted. <laughs> he didn't have to tell us that. <laughs> you gentlemen want rooms? Yeah, the royal suite with hot water in an ice box. Nothing gaudy. Where's the storeroom Dad mentions? Down the hall. We'll take a look at your rooms. Yeah, if we don't like them, we can always use our pup tents. <laughs> You have healed my father of his wounds. It is his order that now you will be his witch doctor. Tell a great chief, your father, that I do not feel worthy to accept the great honor which he would bestow upon me. The chief orders you to accept. You have saved his life. His other doctor held him under an evil spell and must be sacrificed to our god, Rana. Tell your father that I will become his doctor if he will agree to let the other three prisoners go. But doctor, Ula Mumba, the chief must think about it. They're probably saving their own necks by giving ours away. What's your idea? It looks like you're still it, and with a capital I. If I can get you three out safely, you can come back and get me. We don't even know where this place is. But you'll have to find out. I've got to stay here and learn where the witch doctor found that fungus. And that won't be so easy. I know, but I've got to do it. That fungus is the same as Dr. Reed sent me, and it may prove to be more effective than penicillin. You think more of that than you do your own neck, don't you? I still like my pup tent better than that room he gave us. That all depends on what kind of bugs you want on you. Well, there's more room to get away from them outside. I guess the chief has made up his mind. The chief has agreed. Three of you will be taken to the outside. The doctor will stay. The box. The doctor's hut. It talks. The box. He means the radio. Maybe it's Bob. Bob Moore calling Dr. Moore. Bob, what took you so long? Second-hand car trouble. Where are you? We found the ancient Arzak people. Or to be more exact, they found us. Well, great. But where are you now? I don't know. We were captured northeast of the trading post. Then we were drugged and carried into their village in a hidden valley. Well, that sounds bad. What's my next move? Uh, follow our trail to the point where we were captured. Tom will probably be waiting for you. And then what about you? I haven't time to explain. Get the details from Tom. I'm signing off. Goodbye and good luck, son. We've got to get organized and get on our way. Uh, what are we going to use for transportation? Or do we walk again? Well, maybe Jake can fix us up. Oh, yeah, maybe Jake can fix us up. Don't go away, Fatso. You can hear the rest of it, too. Why, gentlemen, I assure you that... Skip it. You got a car we can hire? Why, yes, I have one, but it needs work. Well, that's okay. Joe here's a good mechanic. He can fix anything. Where is it? Uh, follow me. Bad-looking car for this part of the country. No. Where'd you get it, Jake? Uh, some mining men were using it around here, and I bought it from them. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Hey, it's got a spark box. Oh, swell. Uh-oh. No batteries. Well, I think maybe Dad left some radio batteries in the storeroom. What do you want for it, Jake? Oh, go ahead and take it. You're welcome. We'll discuss the price later. Everything's all set, Doc, and it took a lot of talking. What did? Well, the witch doctor blames you for all this trouble, so at first he was against us, but now I think you can do business with him. I'll have to. Where are they taking the witch doctor? To the tribal Husko. Well, that may simplify my job. I certainly hope it does, Doctor. Well, so long. Are they taking you out so soon? Right away. Seems like they want to get rid of us. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait at the spot where we left the cars. I told Bob to meet you there. I will, Doctor. Goodbye. Why? 
Well, I only came back here because you promised to stay. Well, I haven't seen anything around here to be afraid of. There is something. That woman, Cora, helped me to get here, but now I think she brought me here on purpose. Why? Well, I was supposed to meet my father here, but he's gone. Well, now that's strange. I'm in the same fix. You said your name was Ann. Yes. You're not Ann Reed. Yes, why? <sighs> well, I should have guessed it. I've been too busy thinking of my own affairs. I'm Dr. Moore's son. Excuse me, please. <clears throat> Everything's okay. Good. You can talk to us by radio. There's one in the car. I set it on the same wavelength. Now, if anything happens here, all you've got to do is call us, and we'll come right back. How? Oh, I don't know anything about radio. Oh, it's a cinch. Look, I'll show you. Right now, this is the speaker, see? Why did you give them that car? To get rid of them. They'll take the girl with them. No, they won't. I heard young Moore say so. And this one, the sending. Now, we'll check with you from our end. Nothing's going to happen. Besides, either you or I should be here in case our father's returned. Well, all right, but... <sighs> Look, quit worrying. Everything's going to be all right. Come on, help us load the car. Sorry to have to turn down your dinner invitation, but we have very urgent business elsewhere. Some other time, then. By the way, where's Anne? She's in the storeroom doing some work for us. Working for you? Yes, that's right. And by the way, uh, we wouldn't want anything to happen to Anne or her work while we were away. Oh, of course not. No. Don't on, Fatso. Keep away from keyholes. I must speak to him. to be sacrificed, but I can save you. Tell me where you got the medicine you gave your chief. Here's a trail. Look at those footprints. Yeah. Looks like a lot of people went that way. Huh? Let's go. Hey. Was that a dream? Or have we been someplace? Those people had plenty of jewels, all right. What about that stuff this fellow and the doc were so excited about? Well, I wouldn't know. Well, they were a lot more interested in that than they were in this buried treasure business. Yeah. Hey, come on, wake up. Come on, wake up. Well, we got out all right, didn't we? Yeah, but nobody knows how or where we've been. Hey, was there anything to that medicine the doctor found in there? Well, there must have been, and he wouldn't have got so excited about it. He knows his business, huh? Better than anyone else. 
Well, if the stuff is worth that much, it ought to be worth a million. And Dr. Moore's not concerned about its value, except as an aid to humanity. Yeah? Sure. But we are. What do you mean? All right, start talking. What's it made of? Where do we find it? Well, I don't know anything about it, except that the doctor's back there trying to find out from a witch doctor. Don't give us that. All right, Talk. come on. Where is it? Come on, let's have it. Come on. They gave you a pretty good going over, didn't they? Yes, they did, Bob. Thanks a lot. Bob, you're Tom Hamill. That's right. Well, greetings. Where's Dad? Well, he's a prisoner back there somewhere. Well, don't you know where? You've been there. It's a long story, boys. Sit down and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. being drugged. You wouldn't unless it had happened to you. Then you have no idea as to how we can get to Dad? Hey, Bob, there's a native over there hiding behind a rock spying on us. Maybe if we grab him, we can learn something. It's a good idea. Let's go. village discover the witch doctor's deception? And what possible chance have Bob and Joe to find the secret entrance to the hidden city? Don't fail to see Prisoners of Fate, the third thrill-packed chapter of Jungle Raiders at this theater next week. village, the treacherous witch doctor, who's been condemned to death, has overpowered Dr. Moore and left him a prisoner in his place. Bob and Joe try desperately to find the secret entrance to the village.
Magic make Doctor change place with condemn. I didn't take his place. I was put there by the witch doctor, whose place I have taken in your father's council. Umba, Manero. made a lot of progress. Yeah, but in the wrong direction. What'll we do? Well, we can waste a lot more time trying to find our way into Dad. We can go back to the truck and consult Tom. That last part makes more sense. Okay. There's a chance of finding Dad. So do I, but we don't even know where to start. Anyhow, he could radio if he saw trouble coming. In this country, you don't always see it coming. I wouldn't go outside alone if I were you. You never know what you might run into. Keep your eye on Miss Reed. She's beginning to get ideas. Hello. Hello, come in, please. Hello, Bob Moore, come in, please. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob Moore. Come in, please. And you have no idea where this hidden village is? No, I haven't, Bob. Our only chance is to grab a native and find out from him. Well, I've tried that. They're too tough to catch. And we've got to do something. We can't leave Dad in there. He's no great danger. In fact, when I left there, he's setting pretty good. The chief had made him his witch doctor. Are you kidding? No, well, that's on the level, Bob. He may be running the whole works when we finally get in. Again? No, but she's locked in the storeroom trying to use the radio. Hey, you in there? Open up. You checked with Ann Reed on the radio? I tried about a half hour ago and couldn't raise her. She's all right. Open up or I'll break the door down. Hello, Bob. Bob Moore. Hello. Hello, Bob Moore. Come in, please. Bob, please come in. Come on, open up. We're going. 
coming back, Joe. Tom, you stay here. Contact the natives if you can. All right. Do you suppose she contacted them? I hope she did. What? Then they'll come tearing back here. Get your men set and wipe them out. And don't forget that window. Oh, no. Board up the window to the girl's room, then come back in here and get armed. and his pal just pulled up into the brush. They're moving in on us. Then Aunt Reed did contact them. They'll let them come. They won't have a chance. Looks like they're ready for us. Got a match? Yeah. Help me gather some of that brush. to draw us out of here. They're too smart to walk into a trap. Maybe they'll try to bring us out of here. Get outside, you two, and stop them. That boarded up window must be her room. Keep drawing their fire. Okay. shoulders, Jake. See to it that that girl doesn't get out of here. Brent, we'll put the girl in the cellar.
this time I'm not gonna miss. shut up, but letting that Reed girl get away is worse. We have something a lot more important to worry about than your neck, my friend. And you two. You're sent out to do a job and come crawling back like whipped dogs. Wait a minute. You don't know what happened. We were following orders, but we met up with the natives. We didn't have a chance. Before we knew what was going on, they had some kind of a bag over our heads. Messed out. When we came to, we were at their village. That's just what I'm trying to find. The hidden village. Well, if you don't know how you got in there, you must know how you got out. Sure they do. They know just how to find it, don't you? We got out of the village the same way we went in, with those bags over our heads, asleep. How very interesting. Mm. The best thing we can do is to move out of here. Yeah, those mugs will be making tracks this way the minute they think we're out of sight. Well, where can we go? I know a place. Okay, Tom, you drive the truck and we'll follow you. Carter should stay here, Jake. Not me. I'm getting even with the guy that winged me. It won't take us long to catch up with them. We'll head for the spot they left their equipment. Well, just bring the Reed girl back here. That's all I'm interested in. Get going. What's wrong, Matu? White man, camp near Sikert enters to village.
will be the fate of our people, caught between the Arzex and the ruthless gunmen sent by Jake Rain to finish them? Will Anne Reed remain a prisoner in the hidden city? Be sure to see Valley of Destruction, the fourth action chapter of Jungle Raiders, at this theater next week. Rescuing Anne Reed from the trading post, Bob Moore and his party again attempt to find the secret entrance to the Arzak village, where Bob's father is still a prisoner. Their camp is attacked by hostile Arzaks. move in and finish them off. Hold it. The idea is to let the natives capture them, then see where they go. But the natives have all gone. So we'll use our heads to get some information. Tell Carter and Mark to go back to Jake's. We'll join the war party. But they must know we've been shooting at them. I've got an answer for that, too. Thanks for bringing that guy with the cheese knife. That's okay. Where's Ann? He's over there by that rock a minute ago. Forget that. We can't say that. Talk. Let's find Ann. Oh, Ann! Any luck? No. That's what I like about this country. One minute you're here, the next minute you're not. I'd give a lot to know who was shooting at us in that direction. I'd give twice as much. But you can bet it wasn't natives. Not a sign of her any place. Well, she wouldn't start off alone in this wilderness. She must have been taken away. Come on, let's keep looking. Ann! Oh, Ann! Hey, you're still wondering who shot at us. There's your answer. We heard shots. What happened? You tell us. Still warm. You've been doing a little shooting yourself. Yeah, we've been hunting. I'll say you were. Us. Now, wait a minute, fellas. You've got us wrong. Look, I don't like any guy taking a pot shot at me. That's enough, Joe. That's enough. Now, listen here, you two. Ann Reed was a member of our party, and she's disappeared. We've got to find her. He's right, Brent. All right. Good. And we'll fan out, make a big circle, and meet back here. I don't get it. You know those guys were shooting at us. Sure I do. I don't want them trying to ambush us again while we're searching for Ann. You get it? That fellow Moore's no dope, Brant. He knows we didn't just happen along. So what? Uh, and he knows what happened to Jake's place, too. Will you stop worrying? We got a perfect alibi when we get back to Jake's. Come on, let's look for the girl. I'd like to find her myself. Any trace of her? No. Why don't we go back to Jake's place and organize a bigger searching party? That reminds me. I want to talk to you about that little incident at Jake's. Hey, for a man we're trying to help, you're kind of suspicious, aren't you? No. Inquisitive. We don't know anything about that trouble at Jake's. A bunch of men we never saw before moved in and started dealing you out trouble. Sure. 
Well, at least you've given me some information. You two can ride back in the station wagon with Tom and Joe. Come on. Where did you get girl? We kill strangers. How we bring to chief. Make runner glad. Hey! It's for the chief, my father, to decide what will be done with stranger from other world. Me. Talk with girl. Just take it easy. You'll be all right. Where am I? You're on the lost village of the Ozaks. As soon as the drug wears off, you'll be all right. Oh, I feel faint. The drug they use is very harmless. Here, have a drink of this water. You were drugged so that you wouldn't know how to find your way in. These Ozaks understand a little of our language, so be careful what you say. Who are you? Dr. Horace Moore, a prisoner here like yourself. Are you Bob Moore's father? Yes. What will be done with her? God, Rana, he know. Rana angry. Rana tells Zara what to do with girl when sun rises again. I will talk more with this girl. She can tell me of my son. Zara, look well. The white doctor has taken my place. The white girl could become the keeper of Rana. No, never. Rana will have no one but me. You must make sure, Zara. Zara will see no one takes her place. Jake, you were a fool to send your men out to kill young Moore and his two pals. Why? We should have let them lead us to the lost city. How will we ever find it? With the old doctor's son dead. The doctor has a radio with him. If anything happens to the boy, I can always communicate with his father, can't I? You let the girl slip through our fingers, too. You'd better worry about her. I'm not alone in that, remember? Be careful how you talk, Cora. Well, we both have a lot to worry about. Well, Mr. Rain, all your schemes went wrong. I'm mighty glad to see you, Mr. Moore. How are you? Why, yes, the runners came in and said you'd had some trouble. My, my, how news does get around this country. I'm glad of this opportunity to get to talk to you. I want you to know that I had nothing to do with the trouble you've had here. Why, I... Yes, I know, Jake. Your friends there told me you didn't even know the men who attacked us. Did they? That's good, because I want a clean reputation. You've got one, all right. I mean, a reputation. Where's Miss Reed? We're back to organize a searching party for her. What happened? Your friends there will give you the details. We're busy. Joe, get the battery out of the station wagon and bring it into the storeroom. Well, you can use mine. No, thanks, Jake. I wonder what happened to the girl. I'll find that out from Brent. You get inside and keep your ears open. He's going to try and contact his father. Great medicine from Rana. Bad 
medicine from desert of death. Doctor, him used for warriors. Medicine from desert of death's work for us. Zara sends more big medicine from Rana. Warriors need. Oh, yes. Tell Zara I am glad and happy. Many warriors suffer from last battle. Don't be alarmed, Miss Reed. They resent all strangers for a while. Oh, this is the mysterious powder I was telling you about. If Bob were only... Somehow I don't feel he was killed. Only my thoughts weren't so confused. This radio is my only means of contacting him. There's very little power left in the batteries. Oh, uh, this is our wavelength. Would you listen while I prepare some bandages? Rana will be angry because new medicine man killed people with bad powder. Rana will want sacrifice. Two sacrifices. It will take two to satisfy Rana's anger. They haven't made contact yet. This is the wavelength Dad and I use. Bob Moore calling Dr. Moore. Come in, Dad. going to happen. Look at those people. They're angry because they think my medicine has made their warriors worse. This stuff has been tampered with. Isn't it the same as you had before? The powder's all right, but something's been added to it. Medicine magic, not work. Great healing powder of witch doctor, no good. Bad magic poison mixed with medicine. Uh. Turn on the radio. Even if Bob is dead, someone may hear us. Maybe Tom. White medicine man says, magic powder, no good this time. Make my people more sick. Listen to Zara. Rana has told Zara that stranger lies. Strange witch doctor has made warriors sick. They will die. Our witch doctor's medicine has worked always. New magic, bad. Magic box. We talk to people on outside who will help us. Rana say sickness of our people must be avenged. Yeah! A strange girl has brought curse to our city. Our people will die. Rana is angry. There it is. Something's coming over. Bob Moore calling Dr. Moore. Come in, Dad. Dr. Moore calling Bob Moore. You've got him. Boost it up a bit, Bob. Come in, Bob. Come in, Bob. Please. This is Bob, Dad. Where are you? Bob. Thank goodness you're alive. I'm still a prisoner in the Lost Village. Ann Reed is with me. We're in great danger. Dad, we're at the trading post. How can we find you? Hurry, Doctor. The people are getting out of control. I need medicine to counteract poison given the people. I need my black leather case, the one numbered 19. Got it, Dad. Where can I find you? Over. I'm switching my set over to wireless sending. Try and trace it. Okay, Dad. You'll get a steady tone from my set. By turning your directional antenna, you can pick up my general location. Don't forget the medicine. Hurry, Bob. 
Got it. Roger. Go! to save Rana's anger. Yeah! Turn it on, Tom. See if we can get that wavelength. Hold it. Easy. That's it. That's not the way we came from when we were attacked. Well, that's where the direction finder's pointing. Come on, let's go. They must have contacted the old man. We can't follow him on foot. Uh, take Cora's car. The road they've taken only runs a few miles out of here. Hurry up, you can catch up with them. Uh, Carter, Mark. from here on. Try to find a direction. That seems to be it. Now let's hike, fellas. will be satisfied. Strange medicine men make much talk with magic box. Yes, he sends talk talk for more warriors. I go. Sounds. The sound I'd like to hear is of a good old trolley car. Clang, clang. Vibrations make the rocks fall down. You take it easy. Come on. Hey! Oh, wait for me! I'm even afraid to breathe. Well, try stopping then. Yeah. which had hoped to rescue Anne Reed and Dr. Moore, doomed? What hope have ordinary mortals against the supernatural hazards? Don't miss Perilous Mission, the fifth smashing chapter of Jungle Raiders, at the theater next week.
captive of the Arzex in their hidden city, Dr. Moore sets his radio on a steady signal. Bob, Joe, and Tom start out from the trading post, hoping to follow the signal and rescue Anne Reed and Dr. Moore. The trail leads into a lost land known as the Valley of Sounds. Finishes them. Let's report back to Jake. Okay. We'll never make it now. The quicker we get out of this valley, the better. The gong that caused the vibrations wasn't ringing itself. I think you're right. Why do you kill us? We've done nothing. You haven't found the witch doctor. He's still working his evil spell on your people. You are pleased what has happened? Yeah. The strangers who would find the Arzak treasures have been destroyed. And those who would take our places will soon join them. We have a way of getting rid of them. They still live? Ready? Soon the people will cry out with pain. And those who have not eaten will destroy the evil ones who bring suffering to our people. When our god Rana calls the sun and darkness comes, then the fires will be lighted. And you will go into the land of darkness. Doctor. I don't know unless... placed in the food and if you eat you may become sick and die untie me let me do what i can for your people matthew matthew you must let me help you matthew the god rana is angry if you free them his curse will fall on you as it has on your people untie me i won't try to get away I must have some of the powder your witch doctor had when I first came here. Get it, Zara. You witch doctor must use same medicine as our own great one. Give our doctor back his power in your father's consul, and it'll be as you desire. <coughs> Zara has spoken. 
There's only one way to save these people. Send Miss Reed for my medicines. Oh, you must not to. Please, Mato, you must let me go. It will be as you ask. My son will bring the anger of Rana upon us. My magic is powerful. But if I don't get my medicine, many of your people will die. She will go. If she does not return, I will sacrifice myself on the altar of Rana. Nobody of my tribe will dare touch you. As long as you wear this, my warriors will escort and wait for you outside village. Go. What shall I bring, Doctor? Among my effects, you'll find a small black bag. Get it and get back here as quickly as you can. Now, don't let anything happen to that necklace. And tell Bob I'm all right. Good luck. Two's favor. If she should not return, we can regain our power. She not return. You've weighed those stones ten times in the last hour. Uh, have I? I was just figuring what I could do if I knew where these came from. You'd better figure what you're going to do if you don't find out where they came from. What's the matter? Surprised to see us back alive? Why, why no. Uh, we expected you back, but not so soon. We uh, thought you'd gone on a long track. Oh, really? Well, now, what gave you that idea? You got a map of this country? Why, uh, uh, yes, uh, it's an old one. Well, bring it in to me when you find it. Yeah, sure, I will. Sure. We thought, sure, they were finished. Enough rocks dropped on them to kill a herd of elephants. Maybe they contacted Dr. Moore. Get outside and keep your eyes open. You'd better make Reed talking fast. What seems to be the trouble? I haven't found out yet, but somebody's sure been working it over. Did you get a look at their pans when they saw us? Yes, I did. How do you suppose they knew about our narrow escape? Hey, you don't think they spilled those rocks on us? No, not likely. But they would have if they'd have thought of it. So I had a small screwdriver around here someplace. Yeah, the uh, map. Uh, it's here somewhere. I saw it not long ago. Where's that small screwdriver I left in the storeroom? Oh, yeah, I was using it outside, uh, working on my field glasses. You were working on the radio by any chance? I don't know anything about them. Well, you don't have to know too much to wreck them.
What if Jake uses these for anything in particular? And he's been looking through them every now and then. I know what he's trying to see. I don't know, but he's sure been jumpy since Ann got lost. Take a look off there by those trees and rocks. It's Brent and Craig. Brent and Craig? Well, I thought I saw Ann. Yes, it is, Ann. Get in the car. Jewels. She must have reached the village. This is worth a fortune. I don't know. We just got here. We better get her to Jake's. What happened? Do you feel well enough to talk in? We'll find out about it later. She needs rest now. Well, if there's anything I can do, just call me. Thank you. She said for me to tell you that it was all right to trust me. And she'd never come to this country. Well, you forget about that letter I made you write. You lie. Do I? Did you ever see that ring before? It's cute, ain't it? You know, I'd guess that you gave her that. If you lay your hands on my daughter, I... When you get thirsty enough, I guess you'll talk. We can't let you go back there alone. Well, the chief's son gave me his necklace. Bob, it's gone. I can't get back without it. I've got to have it. Matu said he'd sacrifice himself if I didn't get back with the medicine to cure his people. But when did you have the necklace last? I'm sure I had it when I fainted. Wait a minute. Brett and Craig were with you when we got there. Uh-oh. You don't suppose... All right, Brent, hand it over. What are you talking about? The necklace the girl got in the Arzac village. Ann Reed was in the village. What? Well, you... Don't stop it, Jake. I'll get it. Give me that necklace. I haven't got it. I think you have. Maybe you know something about this. You seem to be in the gem collecting business. You're mistaken there. Hand it over. Oh, 
something's going on.
Oh, back again. This is Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Thanks for tuning in. That was the first couple chapters of Jungle Raiders with Kane Richmond. So join us next week for a few more chapters. Stay safe out there, people. Good night.